Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day. It was cold last night. It was 32 when we got up, but anyway, can't see much of a view leaving uh, uh, cheap sassafras. Going up there today, a little hike up, leaving sassafras and going on up to uh, Addis Gap, about 0.9 miles away, and then on to Kelly's Knob. I hear it's going to be a nice little climb, but I hope you're enjoying your day. I am. Bye. This is on top of Kelly Knob. Beautiful morning. Is this the last place we're going to be able to get power? Signal? Yeah. I believe so. Dix Creek does not have yeah. phone signal. Oh, it doesn't, huh? Allegedly. I don't know if it's a 10 foot carrier. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Just no one will be able Worth to the climb, and it was a rough climb. Here's a view over there, way over there. But. A nice little down slope here. We're coming off of Kelly Knob. It's a pretty little trail. It's downhill, so it's better than coming up. I didn't take much coming up because, well, there wasn't much to see. Uh, well, there's always much, a lot to see, but. There wasn't as much. Plus, I was trying to breathe. Nah. But I did have to stop a lot. Whoops. So this is the little area here. It's like I'm coming up on some mountains over there. I'm probably just making y'all sick. It's a nice little downhill. It's been nice since getting up there. But boy, I tell you, getting up there, there was a mountain that just kept giving. Kelly Knob was just kept giving. Let's see if I can. Whoops! Tripped. These roots sort of get you. Anyway, there's some views on the other side. Later. Here's a trail coming down from Kelly Knob. And there's just all kind of little rock formations and rocks and stuff scattered throughout the forest here. And then this is going down Kelly Knob, some of it. There's some moss that was just sitting down here, just so lush, beautiful on the trail. And there's a trail up there. But it's just beautiful and green and all this brown and leaves, just a big contrast. Here's some more rocks and boulders, in case anybody likes them as well as I do, going down the trail. I'm trying not to trip and fall, because it is downhill, but it sure is pretty. It's all up in there. And the green all sprinkled in. Here's some little ferns that are starting to pop out. And then here's another here's part of the trail. 
going down that's rocky. And then there's that big nice boulder. And I don't know how I'm going to get down here, but I'm going to try in a minute. But anyway, this is just a little sweet area. The trail has given us this morning. Thank you, trail. Here's our view at Kelly Now, and there's a mountain over there that's got like a white, I don't know if that's rock in there or what. You probably can see it. Can't see much for trees, but there's a lake down there, I think. Down in the right hand corner. Maybe Chatoog and Hawassi. Anyway, it's pretty up here. There's the lake again in the middle right there. I don't know if you can see that lake way over there, or creek, or whatever it is, pond. I don't know if it's a farmer's pond or not, but... It's way over there. And then I came up on this tree. Sorry, I don't want to make you drunk, but I probably am. I'm a little close here. It's got all these little thingies on it. Some of you guys will know if it's what kind of fungus or what it is on the tree. It's interesting. Right here on the side of the trail. And there goes the trail down there. And I look over here and here's a natural, pretty wood sculpture. Interesting, I thought. We'll go around here and see. It's pretty neat. Oh, hear the wind, so I apologize for that in the microphone. But... Uh oh, <laughs> excuse me. You're fine. So there it is. It's the end of a stop. I didn't realize it till I got on this side. God, the trail goes through this nice rhododendron forest just came out of the sun so this is a nice little cool spot sort of cool it's been windy today and it was real windy last night and then here we go back down but it's all whoops it's all hmm. Little road, not rhododendron, I'm sorry, mountain laurel. Mountain laurel. It's just real pretty through there. You've got a few little places like this, and I'd get through them and say, why didn't I show you guys? straight down here, right here. I'm gonna get some rocks down here, so I guess I'm gonna have to let you go. But it's just like a little canopy of mountain laurel. I love the trunks of these mountain laurels, it makes me feel like people are dancing or something. It's just amazing to me. It just feels like a 
bunch of people in here dancing and they just curl all kind of different ways and they're beautiful. Of course, it's trees dancing. And there again, we're going down to more mountain laurel. Nice canopy through here. Bye. All right, we're at Dick's Creek Gap. Just left uh, Sassafire Gap. That's six point something. But anyway, it was a lot of downhill, but yeah, I tell you what, it was rough. All right. Hey guys, I'm here at the RV park. I took today off. It was uh, it was a rough few days, going from Unicorn Gap over to um, Dick's Creek. Um, I spent the night. Uh, the first day I did a little over 10 miles, and then the next day was six something. So anyway, it was to, for me by my well, not even just by myself. It was just rough. It was a rough climb over Kelly Knob. But it was worth it. Once we got up there, Kelly Knob was had a beautiful picture. I mean, beautiful view to give us. Enjoyed that. Sat up there for a while and had a good time. And uh, was was a bunch of guys and girls from all over. Or even met a guy from St. Augustine. So, um, been a, been great. Uh, was lonesome. I missed Charlotte uh, the last few days. I'm sorry, sweet thing. And, um, but, uh, she, she's having some more tests or having tests and they're just wanting to make sure everything's okay. Um, so there's no outcome yet. Uh, she's fine. She's resting. She's doing things around the house and, um, uh, just waiting, <laughs> you know how that is to get into doctors and cardiologists and but I know one thing she has to do is a stress test. So once she does that, uh, hopefully we'll know something. Uh, and it'll be a week from today. Today's Thursday, the 11th. And uh, so hopefully we'll know something by then. So miss you, sir. Miss you, sweet thing. <laughs> it was it was uh, not as crowded in the tent, <laughs> but I still missed you. Um, and uh, Miss doing everything with you and, and uh, talking to you and having a good time. You certainly have a different perspective and view uh, of different things and different people. So it's, <laughs> it's always a, uh, a joy to be around you. So I, I miss you. And, uh, but, you know, hopefully you can get back on. If you can't, then maybe you can hike a few, few sections with me for here and there and meet along the way. So I look forward to that. Um, uh, in, in this video, you probably saw a lot of formations, or you'll see a lot of formations. Um, and uh, had the moss all over it. It was beautiful. It was just, and then I went through a big, long canopy going down um, Kelly Knob that was just, uh, just, it was just beautiful. And it looked like the trees were dancing. It was hard to see on the video, I think, but it looked like people or the trees were dancing. They were it was just all kind of neat shapes of the trunks of the uh, mountain laurel. So that was really spectacular, and I stayed in those for a while and enjoyed that. Um, but that, you know, then that was my, my day. I was tired. I was ready to come off. My feet, feet are hurting me. I think I'm going to have to do something about my uh, boots. Uh, I've got another pair that I may try out, but they're heavier, so I'm not looking forward to that, but I'd rather have them be heavier and be comfortable. So, but anyway, uh, thanks for everybody's prayers and good thoughts. Uh, Charlotte really appreciates it. Uh, I mean, sweet thing really appreciates it, and I certainly appreciate it, uh, knowing that y'all are all out there uh, thinking about us and and you're certainly sending me prayers because I can feel it because I you know I know I, I get tired and oh by the way uh, someone told me that I uh, sounded like I was out of breath all the time I think part of that is I'm trying to sort of whisper because people coming up behind you and you don't even know they're there 
or are they around? Sometimes if they're around, I'm trying to be a little quiet. And it may sound like I'm out of breath for trying to get more breath in whispering or something because I'm used to having a big mouth. But um, I'm doing fine. Uh, yeah, my breath, I think, is a little out of whack. And I just figured that out coming from Florida, which is sea level, and then coming to these 4,000-plus peaks. Uh, and I'm going to have more of those. But I, I think I'm doing better. It's just I think the second day I didn't have enough food the first day, and I went longer the first day that I'd ever have been. I think before that I'd only gone 6.5 miles and then I went a little over 10, 10 miles. So 10.4 uh, or something. So it, it was, you know, I was tired, but at least I was, you know, I met a lot of nice people always. It's just really nice people on the trail. So get out there and hike and have a good time. So good night, good night, uh, sweet thing. And, um, Stay well, and we'll think positive. We're going to keep prayers and good thoughts going towards you. All right. Bye.